everyone and welcome to this guitar tutorial for the song Second Time by Bruno Major. So first up I would just like to say a quick thank you to this person right here for suggesting this song for me to teach. So thank you very much for that. So a bit of disclaimer first, I'll be playing this song as close to its original audio as possible. So let's play it as simple as possible so that more of you guys will be able to follow. But before we begin, please do not forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below so that you guys will be able to stay updated for my future videos. And if you guys would like me to teach anything else, just comment it down below as well, and I'll try to do it for you. And yeah, so without any further ado, let's just go and jump right into it. So before I teach you guys the chord progressions that we're going to use in this song, I'd just like to discuss with you the chords that we're going to use throughout this entire song, which are going to be these ones right here. Yep, so the first chord that I'm going to show you guys is going to be the G minor 7 chord, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, basically we're going to be pressing the 3rd fret on the lower E string, 3rd fret on the D string, 3rd fret on the G string, 3rd fret on the B string. And as for the A string and the high E strings, these are not going to be included or dead strings in this case. And as for the next chord, it's going to be the F sharp diminished 7 chord, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, basically we're going to use our thumb to press the 2nd fret on the lower E string. And it's going to be the 1st fret on the D string, 2nd fret on the G string. 1st fret on the B string, and as for the A string and the high E strings, these are not going to be included or dead strings in this case as well. And the next chord that I'm going to show you guys is going to be the C7 chord, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, basically we're going to use our entire index finger to bar the entire 3rd fret, starting from the A string down to the high E string, and as for the rest of the chord shape, it's going to be the 5th fret on the D string, as well as the 5th fret on the B string. Yep, so it's going to be 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, with the lower E string not included, or dead string in this case as well. The next up is going to be the F major 7 chord, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, basically we're going to press the 8th fret on the A string, 10th fret on the D string, 9th fret on the G string, so it's going to be the 10th fret on the B string. And as for the lower E string and the high E strings, these are not going to be included, or dead strings in this case as well. The next stop is going to be the A minor 7 chord, which is going to be like this. Now this is just the exact same chord shape as the G minor 7 earlier, but we're just going to be moving it from the 3rd fret up to the 5th fret. Yep, so it's going to be 5, 5, 5, 5, with the A string and the high E strings not included again as well. Yep, the next stop is going to be the D minor 7 chord, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, again, we're going to use our index finger to bar the entire 5th fret, starting from the A string down to the high E string. And as for the rest of the chord shape, it's going to be the 7th fret on the D string, as well as the 6th fret on the B string. So it's going to be 5, 7, 5, 6, and then 5. With the lower E string being muted or not included in this case as well. Then lastly, for the B flat major 7 chord, it's going to be like this. And to do this chord, basically it's going to be 6, dead string with the A string, 7, 7, 6, and then dead string with the high E string as well. Yep, so all in all, it's going to be G minor 7, F sharp diminished 7, C7, F major 7, A minor 7, D minor 7, then a B flat major 7 chord. And when it comes to how we're going to play this song, we're going to use two sets of plucking patterns. So for this one right here, we're going to use it for chords that we're going to play for only two counts. And it's going to be like this. Yep. So basically it's going to be the bass string, which could either be the lower E string or the A string, depending on the chord that you're using at the time. Along with the D string, G and the B strings together, and then the bass string. Yep, so it's going to be like this. Again, yep, B string, D string, G and the B strings together, and then the bass string. Yep, and we're going to be using that plucking pattern for each chord that we need to play for two counts. And so the next plucking pattern that we're going to use is going to be this one right here. So for this one, we're only going to be using it for chords that we need to play for four counts. So for this one, it's going to be like this. Yep, so again it's going to be the bass string, D, G, B, then the bass string again, 
and then the D, G, and the B strings all together, and then the bass string. Yep, so it's going to be like this. Once more. Yep, again. And once you figure that out, we're now moving on to the chord progressions of this song now. So first up, the intro section of this song. So when it comes to playing this song, the first chord that we're going to play is going to be the G minor 7 chord for 2 counts. It's going to be like this. F sharp diminished 7 for 2 counts as well. G minor 7 chord for 2 counts. C7 for 2 counts. F major 7 for 2 counts. A minor 7 for 2 counts. It's going to be the D minor 7 chord for 2 counts. Then we're going to slap it. Yep, just to stay faithful onto the original audio of this song as well. Then after that, again, we're going to do the G minor 7 chord for 2 counts. F sharp diminished 7 for 2 counts. G minor 7 for 2 counts. C7. F major 7 chord. A minor 7 chord for 2 counts. That's going to be the D minor 7 chord for 4 counts now this time. Now once you finally figured that out, we're now moving on to the verse sections of this song now. So the next part of the song that I'm going to teach you guys is going to be the verse sections of this song. So let's go have a look. We were playing 21 In the pitch black of a country night So with that said, the first chord that we're going to play is going to be the G minor 7 chord for 2 counts once again. F sharp diminished 7 chord. G minor 7 chord for 2 counts. C7 for 2 counts. F major 7 chord for 2 counts. A minor 7 for 2 counts. D minor 7 for 4 counts. Then after that, we're going to be repeating that entire chord progression for one more time. So again, it's going to be like this. G minor 7, C7, F major 7, A minor 7, then D minor 7 for 4 counts. Yep, so all in all, should sound a little bit like this. And there you have it. So next up is going to be the chorus sections of this song. So let's go have a listen. Dangerously tangled Second time I met you Now I'm so impatient to let go you. I crashed my car last So again, we're going to start it all off with the G minor 7 chord for 2 counts. F sharp diminished 7 for 2. G minor 7 for 2. C7 for 2. F major 7. A minor 7. D minor 7 chord for 4 counts. Yep, then after that, it's going to be the G minor 7 chord for 2 counts. A minor 7 for 2 counts. Flat major 7 chord for 2 counts. That's going to be the C7 chord for 2 counts. So, all in all, should be sounding a little bit like this. Yep. 
T minor 7, A minor 7, C7. Then on to the next one. So next up is going to be the interlude section of this song. So let's go check it out. Yep. So first chord that we're going to play is going to be the F major 7 chord for 2 counts. It's going to be the G minor 7 chord for 2 counts. B flat major 7 chord for 2 counts. That's going to be the C7 chord for 2 counts. Yep, and once that's all done, we're going to be repeating that entire thing for one more time. So again, it's going to be F major 7 chord, G minor 7, B flat major 7. That's going to be the C7 chord once more. Yep, so all in all, it should be sounding a little bit like this. One more. Yep, and once you finally figured that out, we're now moving on to the next chord progression of this song now. Okay, and when it comes to the rhythm part of the solo section of this song, I'm going to demonstrate it to you guys first, so allow me to demonstrate it for you. So for this one, we're going to start it off again with the F major 7 chord, but this time for 4 counts. D minor 7 chord for 4 counts. C7 chord for 2 counts. B flat major 7 chord for 2 counts. It's going to be the F major 7 chord for 4 counts once again. Then after that, it's going to be the C7 chord for 4 counts. D minor 7 for 4 counts. B flat major 7 chord for 4 counts. It's going to be the G minor 7 chord for 2 counts. It's going to be the C7 chord for 2 counts. So from the top, it's supposed to sound like this. D minor 7. C7, B flat major 7 for 2 counts, F major 7 for 4 counts, C7, D minor 7, B flat major 7, G minor 7, then ending it all off with the C7 chord. And as for the last section of this song, it's very simple, it's just going to be the G minor 7 chord for 2 counts. F sharp diminished 7 for 2 counts, then G minor 7 chord for 2 counts once again. It's going to be the C7 chord for 2 counts. The Bruno major just ends it like that, and that's basically how to play this entire song. So yeah, this is the end of the guitar tutorial. Thank you guys for watching this far into the video. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed it so that I'll know. And please once again do not forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below so that you guys will be able to stay updated for my future videos. So if you guys would like to teach anything else, just comment it down below as well. I'll try to do it for you. And if you guys would like to watch my other guitar tutorials, just click this one right here. And if you guys would like to watch my guitar cover for this song, just click this one right here. It's all good, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.